Hi Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Virgo. We're gonna take a look at the cards and get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional messages. So let's go ahead and get started. we have the Seven of Wands. And with the Seven of Wands, you see this guy, he's wielding his wand and he's kind of um, protecting himself or defending himself against the ones that are standing up below. Fortunately, he's elevated on this little piece of land and you know he has his mismatched boots. And, you know, and that can symbolize that sometimes you know, we're caught unaware or we're uh, not everything is so smooth and easy, and we have to do what we have to do in order to defend our ideas, our actions, our beliefs. And so for your awareness for the week, you may have to be in this position where you, you are defending yourself, or perhaps you're defending someone in your family, a coworker. But there's certainly this sense of focus and of not letting, not letting yourself get run over. Because sometimes when people don't agree with beliefs, you know, they try to uh, push, push you down and, and push your, you know, metaphorically put your ideas down. So protect yourself and defend yourself. Along with this idea for the awareness for the week, here we have the Ace of Wands. And aces are gifts or blessings from the universe. And it's a matter of the universe handing you this wand. Here's the big hand. Here's the wand. And it's like, go forth and create. Go make things happen within your life. What is it that makes you feel great, that gets you excited, that you're energized or stoked about doing? And if you're not doing it, why not? Take this club, manifest, create, use your power to make it happen. And if you've been thinking about it and thinking about it, it's time to move on it. So whether this is taking up a new hobby, you know, whether it's skeet shooting or ballet or whatever it may be, uh, it, this is do it. Get out there and um, take advantage of your skills and your desires and your passions and you know, make the move toward making it happen. Uh, to access the excitement and the adventure and the passion within your life, it's really up to you to know what that is that's going to do it for you. And it's up to you to take action, to take hold of this wand and to, you know, move forward. Okay, so we have, in terms of guidance, we have the High Priestess. And with the High Priestess, there's a sense of uh, digging deep within. This is a major arcana card, so it's really about, you could see the Book of Knowledge on her lap. The knowledge represents the knowledge of you. And um, digging deep within your own psyche, your own mind, your subconscious, listening to your intuition. That's such an important message with the High Priestess, which is your instinct, your inner guide, that funny feeling that you have, you need to listen to that. And you need to be perceptive and to be aware of what's going around without, around you. The messages coming through from spirit, from divine source, that reach us through scent, through perhaps animals showing up. There are a number of ways that, that messages are sent to us. So be mindful of them. But mostly listen to your instinct and your inner guide. 
And the High Priestess would tell you that this is a good week for you to take some time from yourself, from away from the busyness. And there is busyness here. And to focus on having some sense of calmness and passive time just to reflect and to meditate so that you are able to hear these messages a little bit better. And so as guidance here, we have the Eight of Wands. In the Eight of Wands, it's about things are moving quickly for you. Or perhaps it's projects coming or going. You know, you, ne you never can tell with this card. Th these wands could be launched upwards or they could be falling toward Earth. But the key is that the, the projects continue on. You know, we constantly re-up. And so this is a card of movement, of things happening. You may feel that the pace is picking up. You may feel that you have to make decisions quickly or that there's a swift response needed and maybe it's an invitation. Maybe it's an opportunity to go to a party or to go away for the weekend. And so you may get communication through email or text or a phone call inviting you. So this is be mindful that things are busy this week for you. You have a lot going on and to be uh, to, to close the loop on any communication that comes in or that you need to send out as well. Okay, so we have the seven of cups as your possible outcome. So the Seven of Cups is always an interesting card because we see the man here dazzled by the options. The, each cup has a different object and they're all very scintillating. And so isn't that just like life? We have a lot of options. This is a week where you have a lot of options and you may be fantasizing, you may be daydreaming, you may be playing the what if game. And that's fine because you know where where would we be without our dreams where would technology be if we didn't dream big but the thing to think about is that if we're just thinking about all of these options we may not be able to be in a position to access any of them so if you can just direct your energy and your focus to one of these choices and to move on it to have that movement toward it and perhaps to take the wand and to settle into a certain path, you may be able to realize that path. And, you know, sometimes the Seven of Cups, the, the idea of illusion comes through, of living in a fantasy world. And I would say here that the Knight of Swords has shown up to really direct the energy, which in his illustration is fast and furious. And dis despite the bad weather here and the wind blowing back, he's full in. So you may be having a message to get full in, to go for it, to lead with the truth. You know, swords are about truth. Swords can be about obstacles, but you know, you're problem solving. You're in the mode of using your head you may need to use your head as you're looking at these options and trying to narrow it down and trying to act on them. And the Knight of Swords is, uh, you know, philosophical thinking. It's about logic, reason, and facts and the truth, looking for the truth. And so finding out and thinking about what is it that is real to you that you can make happen with the Seven of Cups, I think is something that's important for you for the week. So we have some interesting cards here about having to protect yourself and having to uh, take that club and to make things happen using your instinct, instinct and protecting yourself perhaps with in instinct. But decisions, you may have options, you may have to make a decision quickly, and you may be rushing right in, you may be jumping right in. Be informed, be aware, and do things from an authentic perspective. So let's take a look at uh, the oracle cards for a meditation point or focus area for the week.
My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. So that's a powerful affirmation, which is to believe in yourself and to have faith that the obstacles, the challenges, the BS that we have to deal with in life, the fears that we let take hold of us, that we can turn it into love, we can turn it into, into a way to help us evolve and to grow on our journey. So it's a wonderful mindset to have just in general, is to not let fears beat you down or, you know, trauma. Uh, you have to process the trauma, acknowledge it, and then use it to help you. Okay, so interesting. Let's choose a card for uh, spirit or emotional self. Be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. So a nice simple message, which is validation for you that, you know, you are achieving every day, every week, every month, and to just stop for a moment and reflect and to be proud and to, and to, again, it's a nice way to establish more faith in yourself, in your abilities. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So self-love, um, you got to be able to love yourself before you can love others. And when you feel good about yourself and when you are comfortable with yourself, then people take note and they want to be around that uh, calmness and honestly the confidence too. So take care of yourself and um, be good to yourself. Don't beat yourself up over things. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something, something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I hope that you have a great, great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.